Hello my dear family members, if you are preparing for mind tree interview and if you have given the first round of mind tree, then this video is for you. Why? Because we are going to discuss about these questions. Who are getting the technical interview mail? Is TR online or offline? How many days to wait after AI interview or technical interview to get the next round result? Okay. And what about the HR questions? AI round was an elimination round or not? So let me discuss all of these questions answers with recent interview experience i'll share two experience just wait and watch till the end okay now just before that guys please make sure that you are subscribing this channel and watching the playlist of LTM entry or any company that you want in these days accenture is hiring tcs is hiring and also infosys is hiring so if you want to prepare for those we are also making videos for them so please watch the videos for them as well now let me discuss the questions Hey, you ready for the future tech? No UF is here with premium prep materials. No need to fear. Cognizant Accenture TCS and more. We'll get you ready. Open up that door. So, who are getting the technical interview mail? That is the the people who have cleared the first round. That is the aptitude and technical round and they if they have been going through the ai round if they have achieved the cutoff then only they are getting that technical round mail this is very obvious okay now you may ask me that was ai round an elimination round yes the answer is yes because in the mail they have written that it was an additional round not an elimination round now why you are telling it's an elimination round because if they are introducing one another round they are not going to waste their money okay they are doing business okay after all they are doing business and through the business they want revenue they are not introducing this ai round and taking the acquisition from other company to just entertain you they are going to eliminate people so that they can get the best person best people to work in mind tree right so you have to consider this as an elimination round okay now the next question is how many days to wait after ai or technical interview now if you have given the ai interview then please wait if you are not getting the mail within 1.5 months or two months then uh, you can expect that they are not considering your profile okay and if after the ai interview it's not more than this period then please wait okay you may get official mail and after all please wait for the official mail to get the next update and if you have given the technical round then please wait because technical round itself an elimination round if you performed well probably you will get an hr mail sometimes technical interview and hr interview conducts in the same time but if it is not conducted you may get another mail for hr round so please wait okay and how many times you have to wait how much time that is you have to wait up to one month okay after that you may get selected for the next round or you may get rejected both can happen now next question is if the tier round is an or online or offline round just let me clarify it's based on the tier one or tier two based on the tier college okay that means if you are from tier one college then it's an physical round it's a physical or offline round or if you are from tier two or tier three round uh colleges then probably it will be online mode okay so i hope you understood it may vary okay i hope you understood now the next question is what are the real questions they have asked to the candidates recently let me just tell that so this is the recent interview experience shared by the candidates so let me just share that we'll share the coding questions asked in the interview as well okay now at first the basic very basic questions that is introductions let me introduce uh, like introduce yourself then please self rate yourself uh, like how much you will give yourself for sql java or python the candidate had given that 7 out of 10 8 out of 10 6 out of 10 okay now how to introduce i hope you know if you have not made a template for you then please you, you can use this kind of template okay i have already shared the templates if you have not gone through that uh, please go through that like we have already shared here like you can see this type of templates you can refer 
like you can see this kind of pdfs uh you can refer okay this is available at top slash technology uf we have already included all top hr questions networking operating system sql dbms python java c plus plus all the questions you may expect from these questions these pdfs only okay so please refer that it will be very much helpful for you the link will be provided in the description box or in the comment section now the next question is coding questions what they have asked without wasting time they have asked directly from coding questions okay what the question was that is given a non-negative integer n compute the sum of its digits now how to solve and in which compiler you have to write that is they will uh, tell you to write the code in the let's say if it is being conducted in superset then they will ask you to write the code in the chat box live chat box of superset or probably you will be asked to open your notepad or they can ask you to open any online compiler okay but no suggestions will be triggered like keyword suggestions you can expect but like in uh, vs code if you write pvsm it will automatically populate public void static main but don't uh, expect that in case of the interview time okay so i hope you understood now how to explain and what to explain that is at first let them know about the pseudocode of this question okay sum of digits very important logic pseudocode okay and then tell them that uh, can i now write the code okay and then explain the time complexity it's taking here okay if it's taking big o of n then explain why okay if it's taking big of n squared then tell them why okay now the next question and also they may ask you to write the code in a specific language okay just be, be prepared for that if you are telling that i am good at java then they'll ask you to write the code in java only okay now stack versus queue the questions directly from stack versus queue. i mean i mean dsa okay stack what is stack what's queue you have to give uh, differences now how to answer not only the uh, the not only lifo and fifo you have to answer through the operations uh, can be performed in stack operations can be performed in queue and when we use a stack and when we use queue you give a real time example and as well as give uh, the syntaxes you can use okay and using this method what are the implementation have been made what are the applications have been made using these uh, algorithms okay i hope you understood now let me go to the next question that is linked list and its types okay linked list itself a very big question please be ready with the basic dsa questions like linked list stack queue and sorting methods and uh, let's say a uh, tree you can expect some time complexity based questions etc okay linked list and its types so what are the types singly linked list doubly circular and what are the time complexities for each you have to also know that okay and if uh, interviewer ask you that can you write the code for linked list uh, or single linked list please be ready with that okay the next question is sorting time complexities so as of now i am discussing only one candidate's interview okay i'll discuss the second candidate's interview as well just wait sorting time complexities like all the sorting technologies like bubble insertion merge quick heap sorting methods and their average host and space complexities okay you have to know that and this will be very much important in the upcoming time as well because the interviews are being conducted in these days and the medium like difficulty level will be medium and they'll ask questions from tsm now the next question is java oops related to conceptual questions that is what's inheritance okay if you are giving the answer for inheritance then always give a real-time example of inheritance and the types of inheritance and why we use inheritance importance of inheritance and like whatever you know about inheritance please let them know that you are genius okay you are genius you are giving the answers be very much confident while giving the answers okay don't murmur be loud and like let them know okay okay now the next question is normalizations from this is actually basically for the cs or it background students if they are asking normalizations sdlc then these questions are for uh cs it background students okay 
now 1nf 2nf 3nf and bcnf by scott normal uh, form okay so these questions you have to prepare if you are from csit but if you are not from csit then you may ignore this question like normalization and hdlc but these are very important okay now the next question is sdlc model okay software development life cycle so if you are asked this question then please let them know about the definition and the process like from the business requirement documents to design to development to testing up to deployment and maintenance after that gives them example what's the benefit of all sdlc models and like let's say agile waterfall iterative approaches and uh, spiral models b models etc etc let them know about the uh, benefits and drawbacks of all of those models okay so that the interviewer can know that uh, you know about them okay now now the next question is any question for me so if you are asked this question and if you ignore and if you just tell that i don't have any question then probably it will badly impact upon your selection so please let them uh, like let ask these type of questions like if there is any opportunity to uh, learn about this technology if i join this company then they will probably interpret that you have uh, an enthusiasm to learn more okay and don't ask related to money okay don't ask related to salary let's just ask question related to learning and enthusiasm to join this company okay now the next question is for the next candidate that is triangular pattern code and sql error identification so you may face questions from sql so be prepared for that you you will be asked to write some queries and probably you may uh, like the most repeated questions for sql from dbms is that uh joints and their differences okay all joints types and their differences and delete truncate and drop their differences so these are very repeated questions and second max salary of an employee this uh, these type of questions are very repeated questions you can expect in the interview of your case okay now the next question is divide and conquer methods versus dynamic programming merge sort complexity sliding window technique so these are all for the candidates who are from cs and it background osi models also for cs it background student so as be prepared for that like deadlock and avoidance uh, i think uh, we have merged the questions for both candidates so these are the questions uh, the two candidates has faced so i hope you understood what type of questions you may expect so please be prepared for that and at the end again i request you to go through these materials which will be very much helpful for your upcoming drives because only these questions will be repeated for your case and one thing if you are from any core branches like electrical electronics or mechanical civil then please go through tutorials point website there you can find your basic core questions like uh transformer or electronics related questions so please prepare those interviewer also don't know that much regarding your background your regarding your core subjects so please uh give the answers and copy the answers from tutorials point that will be helpful for you so thank you for participating guys please subscribe to techno uf and don't forget to like and share with your friends